We've all been there. You're trying to decide where to buy web hosting, but you're not sure which features to look for, which plan to pick, and if you're getting a fair price. In this video, I'm covering my top recommendations for web hosting for all budgets and use cases. I've tested a lot of web hosts over the years, and I've seen it all. Cheap web hosts, expensive web hosts, hosts with terrible customer service, hosts with world-class customer service, but each host comes with a different price and a different set of quirks. Hold up, does the web host I pick even matter? Why can't I just go out and purchase the first plan I find? Well, it affects your website's entire experience. Everything from the setup process, speed, reliability, ongoing management, customer service, and even price increases. Some web hosts, <laughs> GoDaddy, like to just jack up the price after the first year. With all this in mind, I wanna walk you through my top five hosting recommendations for all budgets and use cases. First, we're gonna take a look at low cost web hosting. So this is for anyone looking to pay the absolute bare minimum for hosting that functions well enough, but is definitely not ideal for a lot of use cases. This is for someone who's got a small personal blog or you're tinkering with WordPress, or you say, you know what, I just need a website to be online, but I don't really care about reliability or uptime or speed. This is not for someone who relies on their website being up to make revenue. This is also not for anyone who's got an e-commerce store or a membership plugin or a forum plugin on their WordPress website. Anything that's dynamic that takes more server resources, the hosting in this category is not going to be a fit for what you're doing. Also, if you're looking to start tinkering with WordPress, you may not even need to pay for web hosting. There's a program called Local WP. I did an entire video on it over here, and it allows you to run WordPress on your computer with no web hosting account required. If you've determined you do need low cost web hosting, I would recommend Namecheap. They have a shared hosting plan that's $3.88 a month, and I feel this is the cheapest month to month hosting you can reasonably get that's not gonna give you problems and headaches. It runs on cPanel and they have a one-click installer for WordPress and other programs. For those of you who are unaware of cPanel, it's a common management panel used by shared web hosting companies. It's not my favorite. I think it can feel a little bit intimidating. It's definitely cluttered and a little bit confusing at times, but it gets the job done and it is standard. So seeing a cPanel hosting option that's this affordable definitely is a good sign. The speed is going to be on the slow side. This is not something you want to use to host an e-commerce store or a membership site or anything like that, but it should be fast enough to host your personal blog or little project. It's definitely going to be able to keep your site online so friends and family can view it. Namecheap support is all right. They have a 24 seven live chat support and overall they're pretty helpful, but they do take a while to respond. And I've had times where I just have to keep repeating the issue or wording it differently because the support rep may not understand the problem. Overall, the biggest con with Namecheap's shared web hosting is that this plan does not include automatic backups. I am a huge advocate for daily automatic backups so that if you accidentally mess up your website or something goes wrong or it gets hacked, you can just go and restore the backup from the day before. With Namecheap's shared web hosting, you're not gonna get that benefit on this starter plan. They do have more expensive plans that include automatic backups, but if you're gonna spend any more money, I would move away from Namecheap and focus on the host in the next category. Next up is the tier I'm calling the balanced category. This is where the majority of users are going to fall. This is the person who says, Christian, I need more reliable web hosting than low cost. I need something I can count on. I want the speed to be a little bit better. I want good customer service, but I don't need to spend $30 a month on web hosting. So who is balanced hosting for? Well, this is for anyone with a personal site or a local business or a landing page. Maybe you're a bakery or a coffee shop or a landscaping company, or maybe you're a startup with some landing pages. This category is definitely for you. But as a disclaimer, if you are an e-commerce store or you have a membership site or an online course, anything within WordPress that the user is interacting with a lot, I definitely would recommend the next tier of hosting. But if your needs are not as complex, then this host is for you. DreamHost is the best low cost, month to month shared web hosting. I like their plan that they have 
for $7.99 a month. I think it offers a great value and it's not cPanel hosting, which can be a good thing. I personally am not the biggest fan of cPanel. I think it's confusing and hard to use and DreamHost is breaking out of the box and offering their own proprietary management panel and I think it's a whole lot easier to use. DreamHost has great customer support and most importantly, they include automatic backups. They also have great speed, great reliability, and all around are a great experience. The thing I really respect about DreamHost is they offer a 97 day money back guarantee. And yes, that even applies to monthly billing. So if you've paid for three months of hosting and you're not feeling it, you can go in and cancel. And this is what I really like. They automatically issue a refund. You don't have to talk to a support person and ask for a refund and get hassled asking why you want to cancel and you automatically get a refund issued back to your card. And the last tier of web hosting that I'll be covering is premium hosting. This is the best of the best. Premium hosting options can range high in price. They're usually as low as $15 a month, but you can spend hundreds of dollars a month on premium hosting. This is because they focus on scalability. If you need to be able to scale your site up and handle more traffic quickly, this is the category for you. If you're an e-commerce store and you're having a Black Friday sale and you're expecting a surge of traffic, premium hosting has the infrastructure to just click a button, scale up to a better server, handle that demand, and then when it's over, scale back to the server you were on before. If you have a high traffic blog or business website, if you've got an e-commerce store, online course, membership site, forum site, these are the hosts you'll need to be using. So what do I recommend for premium hosting? Well, I've got two options, and the first one really excels in scalability and ease of use. And for that, I would recommend WP Engine. WP Engine offers managed WordPress hosting that's fast and reliable. Their plans start at $30 a month for a single website, but their sister company Flywheel offers a $15 a month plan that's very similar in features and quality. WP Engine just works. Whenever you're dealing with managed WordPress hosting, it's the host's responsibility to keep your site running smoothly. WP Engine does this by limiting page views per plan. So the more page views your website has, the higher of a plan you must purchase. This may seem like a bit of a racket or like you're getting overcharged, but it's how managed web hosting works. In order to ensure that quality and reliability and speed, you're gonna pay for it. But with WP Engine, you have powerful features like daily automatic backups, a staging environment, a bunch of other advanced features, and you're also going to get world-class customer support. I think WP Engine has the best customer service Service of any web host I've ever tested. They've got a live chat and any issue or question you have, you can just jump on there and they're super responsive. WP Engine is great for single websites or multiple websites if you have a big budget. But what if you need something more advanced, maybe an entire instance to yourself where you can host multiple websites? That's where Cloudways comes in. Cloudways is technically a hosting platform, and that's because they're not actually hosting anything for you on their servers. Instead, they're providing a management stack that goes on top of a server from a cloud platform like Vulture, Linode, DigitalOcean, or Amazon Web Services. For example, I personally have a two gigabyte Vulture instance that I pay for through Cloudways, and they provide a fully managed experience. I can easily install WordPress. I get automatic backups of each website on my instance. I can have a staging environment for every website, and I have customer support in case anything goes wrong. It's a very similar experience to something like WP Engine, but it's my own instance, and I can put as many websites as I want on my server. However, that comes at a cost. This is a more advanced solution, and you have to know what you're getting into. To. Sure, you could get a two gigabyte instance for about $22 a month, but if you're gonna put a hundred websites on it that are high traffic, your instance is going to crumble and it's gonna crash and your websites are gonna go down. With a solution like WP Engine, you're guaranteed to have good performance up to that page view limitation. With Cloudways, they're gonna give you a lot more flexibility and it's more affordable if you have multiple websites. 
but you also have to know your stuff and you have to know how to size your instance appropriately. I also want to point out that Cloudways customer support is definitely not up to the level of WP Engine. This is again consistent with the fact that Cloudways is for more advanced users who know what they're doing and WP Engine is for people who say, I just want my website to be up fast, reliable, and I'm willing to pay for it. So which hosting is right for you? Well, if you're looking for the absolute bare minimum just to get you by, a great low cost option is Namecheap. They have affordable month to month pricing and it's certainly not gonna be world-class service, but it's just enough to get you started with a personal blog or small website. Now, if you're looking for something a bit more balanced, something that's middle of the road, I would definitely recommend checking out DreamHost. They have a plan for $7.99 a month. That's a great fit for most users. I say most users because it's still not going to be powerful enough for an e-commerce store or something of that nature. But if you have an e-commerce store or a really high traffic website, that's when you want to pick from a premium host. WP Engine is a great pick if you want scalability and world-class customer support. And Cloudways is wonderful for advanced users who want their own instance to host a bunch of websites. Now you might be wondering, Christian, which web host do you use? I personally use Cloudways. I have a two gigabyte Vulture instance that has a bunch of my websites hosted on it. And I find that Cloudways is a great fit for me because it allows me the flexibility I need to spin up a new website for testing or create staging environments on multiple different websites. And it's something that fits with my budget. And another thing to keep in mind when you're looking for a web host is also where you should register your domain name. I've got a whole video over here you can check out.